Hello, my name is Jim Park. Today's video is part of the video series covering four key components of tissue culturing. Today I'll focus on cell following part of the overall workflow. In cell biology, none of the magic of scientific discovery happens until your cells are happily growing. The first step in this journey involves resuscitating cells from their cryopreserved state through sewing. So how do we safely bring them out of their frozen state with high efficiency? For starters, always wear a proper protective equipment to protect yourself from risk associated with mammalian cell culture and handling liquid nitrogen specifically. Cells are stored in freezing media containing dimethyl sulfur oxide, commonly known as DMSO, a cryoprotectant compound that readily diffuses through the skin. Please review relevant MSDS for proper handling and safety information. Thawing is a very stressful process. All steps should be performed quickly and should adhere to proper temperature, media formulation, and seeding densities to ensure maximal survival. Culture media should be freshly made and sterilized. The media should be warmed to 37 degrees Celsius and placed in the hood. Retrieve the cell vial from the liquid nitrogen tank. Quickly transfer vials to the 37 degrees Celsius water bath. To avoid contamination risk, do not submerge the vial completely. Hold the tube still. Thawing a 1 milliliter sample should take approximately 90 seconds. Agitation can cause ice crystals to damage cells and reduce yield. Remove the vial when a small football-shaped ice chunk remains and move quickly to the hood. Transfer cells to the 15 milliliter conical tube. Then slowly add 10 milliliter of culture media dropwise to the tube. Media is added slowly to prevent osmotic shock. Freezing media is highly hypertonic. The DMSO need to slowly diffuse out of the cells to prevent bursting. This is accomplished through gradual equilibration. Mix the cells by inversion, do not vortex, and pellet by centrifugation. The speed and time required to pellet will vary depending on cell type. Delicate cells, such as stem cells or primary isolates, require low speeds and longer spin time to minimize damage. The wash step is performed to remove DMSO, which under standard culture conditions will interact with the plasma membrane, causing loss of cell integrity. Once complete, carefully aspirate medium, making sure not to disturb the pellet. Gently resuspend the pellet in a small volume of pre-warmed culture media. The choice of suspension volume and flask size is determined by the number of cells recovered. Seeding to sparse will slow growth. Seeding to densely could lead to overcrowding and death. Take a small aliquot to do a cell count or count and viability assessment using septor cell counter or millicell disposable hemocytometer, respectively. Bring cells to their proper volume. Titrate thoroughly for a single cell suspension. Transfer cells to the flask and rock to ensure even spread. Place cells in the incubator. Check cells the following day for adherence. It may be necessary to change the media as well due to high cell deaths and presence of debris. Monitor cells over the next few days for growth. If you find the cell yield was low or your cells do not grow, what could be the cause? The frozen stock may be of a poor quality. 
were the cells harvested during the log phase growth, but before the overconfluence? Were the cells frozen under proper conditions? The stocks were stored incorrectly. Files should be stored ideally in the vapor phase of a liquid nitrogen tank. The stocks were thawed incorrectly. Process quickly but handle gently. There was something wrong with the culture media. Always use freshly prepared media that has been properly sterilized. 